Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to play Casino Cash. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Um, be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, so um, welcome back to the channel. We are coming on to play um, the casino games that are in my heat book for a play along this morning. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay, we have uh, $40 that we'll be cash stuffing into our games. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get that into our heat envelope. All right, let's go ahead and give our prop money account really quickly. Uh, 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, 30. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. All right, before we hop into the book, let me just go ahead and do my uh, reminder for my bingo tonight if you're interested in coming. Okay, I'm going to pull it up in my community tab really quickly. So here's the Zoom Zoom bingo post here. Go to the Read More. has all the information here. So bingo is tonight, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I will be on as early as 7.45 to assist you. So if it's your first time coming, come early. And also come early to mingle. But we will start promptly at 8.05. There is a Zoom link if you want to get into the room. Um, here is the link you need to click on if, you, if you've never been before to uh, sign up for your bingo card. So type your name there, join the game. It will give you two cards that you can print off or you can play electronically on your phone, tablet, uh, touchscreen, laptop, computer, and things like that. All right. And also um, you can print your cards off if you choose to, but you would need to laminate them. Okay. Um, returning players, type your code in here to rejoin the game so you can play electronically. All right. Um, there is a new patterns 1026 that come, I give out every week. So dashboards, um, rules for independent play. Um, these are the actual patterns that we'll be playing that I'm going to ask you to be getting. Okay. And then savings tracker. So we'll be playing 10, 10 bingo games or so. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you what the bingo cards look like if you're new. Okay. So it looks like this. So between each round, you will reset both of your bingo cards on your phone or tablet device or your printed copies, your wipe them clean, okay? And so whatever pattern I tell you to get, like that first pattern I believe was a eight pack, a six pack or something like that. So that's what you need to get before you can call bingo in the Zoom. But once you get the desired pattern, you will yell the bingo in the Zoom. So let's say it's four corners. I say I got bingo. I will check your bingo card and verify you have a bingo. If you get a good bingo, it's an extra entry onto the prize wheel, okay? And so we usually play about 10 to 12 rounds of bingo, and it takes bingo last uh, from 8 to about 9.30, okay? So that's the time commitment needed to play bingo. But like I said, you get a chance to win prizes from my shop, Etsy Credits, okay? So if you're interested in coming, see you tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, all right? So here we go. Let's go into our heat book now. Okay, so this is my first saving challenge book that came out back in uh, February. I always like to say that. Okay, so it's my baby. Okay, so like I said, I, every Saturday I come on to play a section of my book for those who have uh, for those who have my book. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we'll be uh, coloring in this section here. Okay, and I'm going for our forty dollars. So each of these will be twenty dollars for me. Okay. So you can play the same amount that I'm playing. You can play more than what I'm playing. If you're playing along, you can play less, okay? But still coloring your icons as such. So if you only got $20, I'm playing, there, there'll be $10 each, okay? But it's okay. So whatever I bet on my um, turn, so if I bet 50 cent for a turn, you bet a quarter, okay? But you can still play the exact same way. If you have more money than me, like double my amount, okay? You're going to double my bet. So if I'm betting 50 cents, you'll bet a dollar so that it comes out right. So it, it makes sense to how to play the games for you, okay? So I kind of got a lot of the line on that. <laughs> but uh, today is the, what is it? The 25th, 26th, guys. All right, so we finished that challenge today. And then, like I said, up here is my bingo section. So I'll be finishing that, that up tonight. So 
The thing with my tracker is, guys, I like to see a completed tracker by the end of the month because that means that I came to the table to do the work. So like I said, one, two, three, four, four consecutive weeks, I came to sit down with my money and play my games and put money into my savings challenges. And then again, four times up here, this means that I went to my bingo, I hosted my bingo this did something that I said I was going to do, okay? <laughs> and I did it, okay? So that is how I save my money, and that's how the tracker reminds me of in the ways in which I save my money, okay? So there we go. A vis visual representation of how I save, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and turn to the casino games that are in my book, okay? So the first game that we'll be playing today is um, Pick 3. All right, and so for Pick 3, let's see... I need a 10-sided die, all right, because we're going to be getting our lottery tickets for the pick three, okay? So let's see. Uh, I'm going to use this red marker to write today, okay? So I'm going to write my lottery ticket numbers down, and each of my lottery tickets are a dollar, okay? And then, so I'll pay a dollar for my first ticket, then I'm going to write my numbers down. If I'm able to match any numbers, I'm going to be able to say 50 cent per match number, so I always do the same numbers each time. I start with my birthday, so 386, okay? So let's see, can I match any of those numbers? We got a seven, I just write the um, lottery ticket numbers up on top. We got a nine, four, okay? We didn't match any numbers, so that was a bad ticket, okay? So now we're off to our next ticket, another dollar. I'm gonna play my son's birthday, which I always play, okay? Because most of the times you play the same lottery tickets, okay? <laughs> Numbers, all right? 310, all right, we got a six. Okay, we got a zero, so we matched one number so far. Can we get something else? Okay, five. All right, so we matched a zero, so we're going to save an additional 50 cent from one match number. All right, let's do our next ticket is a dollar. Let's see, we're going to do today's date, which is three... No, 1025, 1026. So let's do 126. Yeah, let's do 126, guys, for today's day. All right. <clears throat> All right, we got a one. We got a five. And we got another one. Okay, so we match one number. Okay, so we're going to save an additional 50 cents. And then we'll do one more ticket, guys. Okay, so here we go. Let's do, um, I like to do numbers I haven't seen um, rolled yet. So I'm, I'm going to do an eight again. I haven't seen an eight being rolled, okay? No threes. And let's see. I don't see a two has been rolled yet. Okay, eight, three, two. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Can we get the, oh, there's an eight, okay. That's a nine. Four, okay, so there we go. So we matched another number, so 50 cent, all right? So that is how you play on the pick three guys for your lottery ticket picks, okay? So let's see what we actually save. We got one, two, three, four, five, fifty. So I'll get a dollar out of here. And put this off to the side. I'm going to take a five out. All right, perfect. Fun, fun, fun. All right, our next game is Pong. Okay, for Pong, we're going to use um, six dice, okay? <clears throat> All right, and then we're going to roll our dice, and the goal is to get the numbers one through six on our dice. We get two rolls to get the numbers one through six, okay? Let's see, can we do anything? All right. All right, we still need a three and a five, three and a six. Can we get it? We got the six, so we only have one number that we were unable to get, okay? And so, so we'll just write a one in here for the one we're unable to get. Then we're gonna do, say, 50 cents for each one we're unable to get, okay? If you wanna challenge yourself, you can do it in one roll, okay? But like I said, I like to do multiple rolls, guys, okay? All right, we need a three and a five this time, let's see. All right, we got the five, so that, again, that's 50 cent. For one, 
Maybe we weren't unable to roll. Let's try it again. Let's see. Okay, one, four, five. Okay, so we still need um, two, three, and six. Okay, we got the six, so we were unable to roll two of the numbers that time, so that's going to be a dollar. All right, we just need the three here. Nope, 50 cent. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. We just need the six. Okay, we got it. That was perfect. We don't have to pay anything. Okay. <laughs> and then here we go. Let's do one more, maybe. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we just need the one here. We didn't get it. All right, 50 cents. So that is how that game goes there. Okay, so for Pong, so we were able to save $3 for that one. Okay, so we'll cash that in and get $3 at our cash tray. And move on to our next game. All right, our next game is eight ball. So we're going to take two eight-sided die here. And we're going to use, um, the goal here is um, to roll... The numbers 1 through 16 are in here, so that's where we're going to be using these dice, okay? And we're going to mark out our pool balls as we get them. So we're going to say for what the leftover balls, we get three chances to, if we roll three number eights, we're out, okay? So the eight ball is the, um, it's like a strike almost, okay? So we get three chances to roll eight, then we're going to count the remaining pool balls. To get the number one out, we must roll a 16, Okay. And then the 16 will be wild for any other number to get some of the harder numbers out, the smaller and larger numbers. So here we go. So five. Okay, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine,
Okay, we're just gonna just do one regular bingo. I'm gonna do two lines of bingo on one card. So I got my bingo collar ready. Okay, I'm gonna set it here so you guys can hear it. And I'm gonna get my dry erase marker out. But if you're playing by yourself, I'm only doing the way that I'm playing because I'm on a video. But if you're playing by yourself, you should roll your 12-sided dice to see what pattern of bingo you need to be getting on your bingo cards. But you're getting the same pattern. And then whatever bingo card, color card you uh, bingo on, that's what you're going to save. Okay, so here we go. G57. N45. N45. I might just play N two cards. <laughs> o 63 Oh, 63. Okay. Oh, 62. G, 53. I, 19. I, 19. Oh, 66. N, 43. N, 33. B, 5. N, 34. G, 57. I twenty six B two B two N thirty nine O seventy three O sixty four G forty six N thirty seven I twenty nine I sixteen G fifty six N thirty five O seventy one B three three N forty four O sixty one N thirty two I twenty four B fourteen B seven B ten Okay, I got my first bingo on I that one. I twenty one <clears throat> I twenty one okay O sixty nine O sixty nine O sixty five O sixty five, okay. G fifty five. Oh, that's a sixty nine, not fifty five. Okay, one big on G that card. G fifty nine. G fifty nine, okay. B four. B four. <laughs> I thirty. I thirty. N thirty six. Thirty six. I eighteen. N thirty one. G forty seven B fifteen B thirteen. I ain't getting none of y'all. <laughs> I twenty three. I twenty three, okay. B one. I got a bingo here, guys. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop there, okay. So I was able to get uh, two bingos on this bingo card here. This is the blue card, which is a dollar, okay? But like I said, I only played two, so I'm going to either do two or three dollars. So I'll save two dollars for that round, guys, okay? So there we go. <laughs> but that's how you play bingo by yourself, okay? So independently. So bingo is fun by yourself, guys, okay? So like I said, my game, the book is designed to play for uh, self-play, okay? <laughs> but fun, 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 all right? So, um, Dice and Darts. Dice and Darts is a kind of a long game, guys. So since I play bingo, I'm not going to play Dice and Darts. But the goal here is going, you're going to roll your 20-sided dice, guys. And then um, whatever, you get 21 chances. You're going to use a dry erase marker to mark off the numbers here, okay? 
and then you're going to calculate your score and then you're going to try to beat your highest score so it costs three dollars a play and then you actually beat your score you're going to save that amount okay so dice and darts all right so but i'm not going to play today because this video already getting long <laughs> All right, so jackpot. Here we go. So I'm going to roll to see what my jackpot amount is going to be. I need three dice, okay? So let's see. So $3. So I can either play, pay $3 or I can do even and I got even or I, okay? I'm going to do odd so I can play more turns, okay? And then the goal here, you're going to try to get, you need to get a three of a kind. Oh, hold on, let me do that again. All right, we're going to go with six this, okay? You can't change your mind, though. So I get two more rolls to try to roll a six. Can I get it? One. Nope. Okay, so my number is four, so I need to pay my jackpot amount, so a dollar, okay? Or three dollars if you're hiring your account, okay? So again, we, we're going to roll for our jackpot amount. Three again, so I jackpot. Three of a kind, so now you pick what number you want to go for. I'm going to go for threes this time. You can't change your mind, okay? So now we got two rolls, so we need threes, all right? Two threes, can I get it? Nope. All right, so just write down those last two numbers. Another dollar. All right, roll for your jackpot amount. We got a one. Okay. Um, let's go for fours. We ain't getting none, yeah, nothing. Uh, two five. Okay, and then we'll do one more here. Okay, even jackpot. Okay. All right, we got two sixes. All right, can we get another six? All right, here we go. Nope. All right, so we owe $2 for that one. All right, so that is how you play jackpot, guys. Okay, and we save two, three, four, five <clears throat> for that one. Perfect. All right. So um, the next game we're going to play is um, high low. Okay. And then we're going to use a dry erase marker for this one as well. So you're going to roll your dice for your column box and you're going to guess that the roll is going to be higher or lower. Okay. I'm using eight sided dice this time. You use whatever dice you want. Okay. So eight is our column box number. And now I'm going to guess that the next roll is going to be higher or lower than eight. I'm going to say lower. Okay. Two, okay, I'm gonna say higher than two. Four, I'm, I'm gonna say higher than four. That's incorrect. And then I'm gonna say higher than one, of course, okay? And that's correct. So I had one missed guess, okay, so one dollar. All right, then I clear my board to play another round. So like I said, the, it's probably more difficult, you play a bigger dice. So, so let's see. I only got 120 side. Never mind. I only got 120 side of dice over here. <laughs> well, I can write the number down. That's a 10, okay? So I'm going to guess if it's going to be higher or lower than 10, guys. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say lower. Let's see. It's lower. That's correct. I'm going to say higher. That's incorrect. Higher than five. I'm going to say higher than five. 12 is correct. I'm going to say lower than 12. That's right. So I have another missed guess. Okay, like that. And we'll do one more. You can also play this with cards, guys. Okay. So let's do one more with dice. Okay, 20 is our call box number. Okay, I'm going to say lower than 20, obviously. So we got 9. I'm going to say, I'm going to say higher than 9. That's incorrect. Higher than three. Correct. I'm gonna say I'ma say lower than ten. Thirteen is incorrect. Okay, so that's two missed guesses that time. Okay. And then we'll play one round of cards so you can see how to play it really quickly. All right, we got a nine. So I'm gonna say um Ace is the high card. Uh, I'm going to say higher than nine. Next card pool. Okay, lower. That's incorrect. I'm going to say higher than six. Ace. Okay. Lower than ace. Eight. I'm going to say... I'm going to say higher than eight. Lower. 
Oops, so it correct, so I missed two there, okay? So two more dollars that I have to pay. All right, so perfect. So two, four, five, six for high, low, okay? <clears throat> Next game is chipping away the debt. So we're gonna use a color die and a 12-sided dice for this one, okay? Let's So we're just marking our chips basically, guys, okay? So we have um, green, all the green chips are done, so I'm gonna roll again, so I'll mark these all out. Okay, blue 12, okay, we can mark this chip out. It's gonna be a dollar for even chips and 50 cent for odd chips. Red two, two is already taken. Let's see, we got three and 12 left. Okay, we got the three. Okay, so that's 50. <clears throat> okay, red, we only have the 12 left, so we're gonna go ahead and mark out this one, and that's gonna be a dollar, and then we can just mark that down, done, okay? So we got orange 11, okay? So 11 is there, 50 cent. Red is already done. Orange four, one, two, three, four, a dollar. All right, we'll do one more here. We got green is already done. Let's go. Oh, we run out of greens. Oh, look at green. Orange eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is already taken. Let's see if I can roll. Ten. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, a dollar. Perfect. All right. So that is how you play uh, chipping away the deck, guys. Okay. So for that game, <coughs> we say five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. Our next game is um, Texas Hold'em. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my cards really quickly. All right, so I'm gonna deal myself a hand and deal the dealer a hand, guys, okay? And then we're gonna save based upon that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, those are our hands, and we're gonna deal our community cards here. Okay, so let's see what they are. One, two, three. Okay, let me see the three. Yeah, here we go, okay? So here we go. So I need to see what I can get to go with these things right here, guys. Okay. So that's what I got so far. And, and it's nothing. Okay. And so we're going to hit ourselves here. Okay. And we're going to discard and we're going to flip over another one. But we're trying to build a poker hand, guys. Okay. So again, I still don't have anything. Nothing's up there. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah, this is the rough one. Okay. So there we go. All right. So. Nothing's really up there. I don't have anything. Let's see what the dealer has, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is his hand. Okay. And uh, he has a two and an eight. I got a three and a four. <laughs> so both of these are terrible hands, guys. Okay. But we are, we just gonna give it to him because he got a we gonna add the numbers together. That's a ten. This is a seven. <laughs> <laughs> because ain't nothing down here to go with nothing, okay? So we're going to give it to the dealer, so it's going to be a dollar, all right? And then we're going to color poker chip black, okay? Not even a pair, guys. Terrible hands, okay? Terrible, all right? Let me see if I got a black marker up here, guys. All right, so the color in for the dealer for winning that first terrible hand of black jet of Texas Hold'em. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go again. All right, all right, three community cards here. All right. 
let's see what we got. All right, we got a, at least a pair of tens, okay? And then we got a queen right there. We get that jack. Pull that jack out of there. We'll be good, okay? <laughs> so let's see what we can get, guys, okay? So our first card is going to be our discard, and then we're going to flip one over, okay? So there we go. So again, we still ain't really got nothing. So I would like to do a discard, then our flip card. So I would like to get a pair, but no, guys, okay? So still... All I got is a pair of tens, okay, based on all the stuff that's a pair of tens for me. So let's see what the dealer has. That he was able to do anything, okay? The dealer ended up with a pair of kings, okay? So the, again, the dealer won because kings is higher than a pair of tens, okay? So that's how that goes. So again, we'll color the poker chip black, okay? Now here we go. I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> You can also do rolling saves with this, guys, if you don't know how to play cards, okay? <laughs> so you can do for odd. You can roll do odd rolls. Could be the, for red chips. And then black, uh, even rolls could be coloring the chips black, okay? So color and saves. Rolling saves, color and saves. All right, but I want to play one more hand of this um, Texas Hold'em. Like I said, I don't play it until I play my book for the most part, guys, okay? So here we go. <laughs> See, can we get something? Get some momentum going, okay? All right. I hope I got an eight in my hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I need an eight and a six up here, y'all. I need an eight and a six. Let's see. All right. Let me get a, a straight. Ah. Nothing. Okay. This is our other card. And flip the card over. Five. Okay. So I am ending with a pair of fives for me. Let's see if I won that hand. That's all I got. Let's see what you got. All right, so he got an eight, guys. Okay, so let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He needed a six, y'all. So that ain't enough, okay? So he ain't got nothing. So I actually, I actually won that hand, guys, okay? <laughs> With a pair of fives, all right? So I'm going to color, say, 50 cent and color the poker chip red because I won a round, okay? So that is how um, Texas Hold'em goes, guys, all right? All right, perfect. I had a chip down here, so I'm going to just cash this in for a dollar. All right, so there we go. And then we'll go to our last few games. What we got left? We got $8 left, okay? So we got um, Beat the Dealer, which is our uh, Blackjack 21 game, okay? So the goal is to deal yourself a hand as close to 21 as you can get, and then you're going to roll for your scratch, and then see, can you beat the dealer, okay? So here we go. 15, I'm a hit, bus, that's a dollar. Let me get some change over there, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go again. 17, I'm going to stay, let's roll. All right, we got seven. Let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the dealer needs a 17 or higher to beat me, okay? 17 or higher. And that is the, the dealer has a 21, okay? So he has one, and I need to pay $2 for that, okay? I'll do one more round of this one, okay? All right, we got um, 14. I'm going to hit myself. Ah, oh, that's a bus. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave. <laughs> so $4. <laughs> Short-lived, okay? And then we got to play our last two games really quickly, okay? So we got down to $4, okay? So for this one here, we're going to uh, try to build a, a full house in our hands. A full house is a, um, a heart. Well, not a heart, but a pair and a three of a kind, okay? So whatever uh, card causes us to get a full house, we're going to save that amount, guys, or that we have set up here. So one or two dollars, basically. Those are one to four. I'm going to do one to one to uh, even odd, okay? So here we go. Three, four, five. So that's our hand. So we, we got we got a build, okay? Uh <clears throat> oh, we got fives and sixes, okay? Yeah, we're looking for a five or a six. <clears throat> six, 
six. Six of heart. Okay, so six of heart caused us to get a full house. Hearts are even. So we're going to save $2, okay? And then we're going to color a window on the house. On the heart house like that, okay? So perfect, all right? We only got $2 left, guys. So we're just gonna take this to our last game, which is our uh, freebie on the back of the book that comes with the book, SWS Book Club. And this is a save for your next book, okay? So we're going to uh, roll our dice, okay? And then we're going to roll our uh, colored dice to see what book, and then we can do even and odd, guys, okay? So here we go. Green, $2, all right? <laughs> so $2 on a green book, okay, towards your next book, okay? So perfect. So that is it, guys. So that concludes Casino Cash for today. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you thought about um, the casino games and the Heat Book. Okay, the Heat Book is available over on Etsy if you're interested in this item. All right. Um, I hope you guys had fun with the play along today. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I'll see those of you wanting to come to Bingo tonight. Enjoy your day. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.